What is happening, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to KNMRD Radio Stuff. You're watching Mailbag Monday. I got a couple questions today about antenna analyzers, so I want to focus on that. But before we do that, I got a great question about adapters. So let's take a look at that. This viewer is writing in picture, if you will. A Shack or POTA setup consisting of an ICOM 705, a Wolf River Coils, take it along, RG8X, and two PL259s. In order for this to work, I'm going to need an adapter with an SO239 and a BNC mail. Can you recommend a quality kit or kits of coax adapters that will serve many unique connection needs? Cry once, buy once makes sense to me. Please help me spend my money. I can do just that. So let's hop over to the internet machine. I've got a couple things uh, to show you, uh, but I will tell you, I've never bought a coax adapter kit. I've kind of just piecemealed it together, uh, but let's take a look at what uh, the internet may have in store for us. So this is kind of the, the biggest one that comes up. This is from PowerWorks, and this is probably what you're going to want to pick up. It's 109 bucks, and this has everything. you got 30 pieces. It's an RF adapter kit, UHF, BNC, all that stuff. If we come down here, here's everything it has. So six universal adapters. Uh, here's your two BNC male and two BNC females. So uh, that's actually not a bad price. When you consider usually on average for like a good... Uh, connector, you're gonna you're gonna probably spend about five bucks or so on each one of these. So uh, I, I would say that's quite the deal. Personally, I've never bought one of these. I was fortunate enough to have uh, a friend uh, who, who owned a land mobile radio company uh, who was also a ham and an Elmer, Scott AC8IL. So I would always go into his shop, and uh, unfortunately for him, fortunately for me, he sold adapters. So every time I came in the store, I'd be like, oh, geez, what adapter do you, do you, do you need now? So <laughs> uh, I was fortunate enough to get them from him. But also on Amazon, I've bought uh, these uh, right angle BNC connectors. These are what's actually on my uh, 705 here. And they work great for 10 bucks for two. Uh, I picked up some of these uh, uh, female BNCs for making antennas for like RG8X. I picked up some bulkhead connectors. So you can actually get some pretty decent stuff on Amazon. I, I, I probably have picked up some stuff on eBay over the, over the uh, course of the years. But, you know, look at the ratings, see what people say about them. Are they junk? Are they good? Another great resource would be uh, ham fest if they're even even local ham fest at least in in Michigan when I went to ham fest there there was always a guy that had the table that had the adapters and things or if you go to hamcation or or, or Dayton or Huntsville there's there's no shortage of connectors out there so uh, but I think for you that power works one will work but don't don't be afraid to shy away from the Amazon stuff I've had pretty good luck with that so hope that helps thanks for writing in this next question has to do with what frequencies can you use an antenna analyzer on? This viewer is asking, do you know if a rig expert antenna analyzer's AA2000 zoom could also work on the business bands? I would love to have a handheld tool to help me tune antennas for odd business bands like 35.1 megahertz. Uh, and I would love to have a tool I could use the hobby antennas and work to make my life easier. Thanks for hamming harder. Well, Ryan, thanks for writing in. And uh, while I don't have the AA2000 zoom, I do have the Rig Expert Stick Pro. It doesn't have to be a Rig Expert. Actually, uh, just about any uh, analyzer is going to work for this. So you mentioned 35.1 megahertz. So if I just go to sweep my antenna, oddly enough, my NFET half wave is quite resonant at 35.1 megahertz. So antenna analyzers are going to be able to sweep uh, the entire spectrum. They're not uh, just locked down to the amateur radio bands like a radio would be so you know you can you can sort wherever the heck you want uh if we want to change frequencies here i mean whatever i'm now i'm in 34 megahertz doesn't matter you can go wherever you want because we're not really transmitting we're, we're using this as a as a tool this is a bit of test equipment and it's not just rig expert let's take a look at another analyzer Here's an MFJ269 analyzer that I, this was the first analyzer that I ever got. And again, you can see we're nowhere in the ham radio bands, but we're scanning or analyzing everywhere. So you can use this for anything. So long as the analyzer is, you know, has the capability to scan that portion. So for like the AA2000 is going to go all the way up to 2000 megahertz. So you can do everything anything they're not just locked down to the ham radio band so uh, hope this helps hope this demonstrates 
the capabilities of the analyzer, and more importantly, I hope that answers your question. So thanks for writing in. And last, we have a question regarding, do we really even need an antenna analyzer? This viewer is asking, great channel and I enjoy 99% of your stuff, that's all? Well, hopefully this will get us up to 100. <laughs> Fairly new ham here in debating on antenna analyzers. Do I need one? Well, do we need five HF radios? Do we need multiple handhelds? Eh, I, some would argue yes. <laughs> Can I still use the old fashioned black box needle SWR meters that we used in CB radios 20 years ago? Or do I need to use one of these new fangled digital devices? So uh, instead of just telling you, let's show you. So need is a big word. Do you need one? It, it really depends on how many antennas you feel like making and are you know are you real big antenna geek like I am or are you just gonna have one and put it up and be done with it. So I want to show you really quick uh, what you can do just looking at the radio's SWR. So let's hop over to the radio. So here's the 7610 and I'm just on the 10 meter band for the heck of it. Uh, I don't have the tuner engaged. I just have my 80 meter end fed half wave uh, hooked up and we can just kind of use our SWR meter as, as kind of an indicator. So if I just key up here, we can see that we're about two to one SWR here, maybe a little under that, maybe 1.8, 1 1.9 1 uh, on, on 10 meters here. And we can go up. So let's maybe go up 100 hertz or so, key up here. Uh, it's about the same, maybe maybe a touch less. Let's go up a little bit closer to the phone portion. Now we're getting a little lower. So we can see that as we get in the phone portion, we're getting a little better. Okay, let's go up to uh, the top of like where technicians can be. And still not below, eh, there's about 1.5 there. We can go up higher, see where we're at. So you can see that we're really, kind of analyzing the antenna just with our radio. So let's go to a bigger band. Let's go to 80 meters, say. And boy, the noise floor is terrible today. Let's go to the very bottom of 80. We'll key up. Again, the tuner's off. And we'll see if I put it into CW. My SWR is pretty low towards the bottom of the band. Now, if I go up a little bit, you can see we're rising, okay? So you could say, like, if I want to tune for, like, the 75-meter portion, where, where uh, like, the general portion, you're, uh, what, 3.8 to, to 4, you know that at the bottom, see, now we're, we're way off the scale here. We're 5, 6 to 1, who knows? So we know that the antenna is long, so we can shorten it. But what happens if you're just getting, like, infinite SWR, you know, across the entire band, well, I can't key up outside the band, so I won't know if I'm too long or too short if your SWR is, is too high to even measure on the radio. Doing it this way, if we're kind of close, we can say, okay, well, at the bottom of the band, we're pretty resonant, but I want it to be tuned up here, so I would need to shorten my antenna, which makes sense, but if it's infinite, that's where we're gonna need an antenna analyzer, so let's look at what we can do with those. So here's a look at the Rig Expert Stick Pro. There's a lot we can do with this, and I just kind of want to briefly show you. And, and you can kind of do a lot of this with any analyzer. I prefer the Rig Expert because it has all these functions. But So I have an 80 meter end fed half wave above my house. And let's say I just want to take a look at the entire antenna and see what it's doing. I can just hit this plus button for multi. And this is going to scan every ham radio frequency or band rather, and it's basically just gonna give me a snapshot of each individual band and what their performance is doing. So once this is done scanning, so now we can see, and it just kind of gives us this star uh, rating. So I know my antenna is too long, I, I need to shorten it up. But we've only got two stars on 80 meters. We can go look at 40 meters, we're actually pretty good, but we're good at the very bottom of 40 meters, right at seven megahertz. 30 megahertz, we're pretty good, in, or 30 meters rather, we're, we're pretty good and terrible there. 20 meters were eh, mediocre at the bottom of the band. 15 meters were not doing so hot. 
12 meters, not so hot. So like I know that I need to shorten my antenna. And to be able to do this with a radio while you can kind of like we did, like we showed earlier, not quite that easy. So let's say I want to zoom in and I just want to take a look at uh, maybe uh, just the 80 meter band. So let's go to ham. And now we're getting a sweep of the entire 80 meter band. I can hit the plus button and we can zoom in or zoom out and we can see, you know, if I want to look at, so 3750 is where it's centered right now. But if I want to take a look at kind of where we might be resonant, you see we've, we've got a couple dips here. So we can zoom in on these or zoom out. So let's go in, um, you know, what? let's go into, we're just looking at one megahertz wide now. So now we can see, okay, we've got a dip way down here. Let it rescan. So at like, at like 3,600, we're 1.55 to one. Uh, 1.47 is the best we got somewhere down here a little bit. And then again, we've got another dip up there in the higher portion. Let's see where that's at. Yeah, so that's, that's out of band where that dip is. So we can see that. We can also go to single just by looking at one frequency. Let's go down in frequency. Let's go to like 3.9 megahertz. And then we can see what, because we can look at the resistance. We can look at the reactance. We can look at a lot more stuff than just the SWR. SWR is, is only part of it. So here, if we go, now we have the resistance and the reactance, and really the antenna is not resonant until that reactance is at zero. We want to see 50 ohms as well, but we just get so much more information. And for me, just being able to kind of sweep up and down the band and see where those dips are, that's what's really going to help you uh, analyze your antenna and kind of know what's going on, especially if you have a, like a multi-band antenna, you can sweep it like we did and figure out what you need to do with it. So do you need an antenna analyzer? I would say no. Uh, is it going to make your life a whole heck of a lot easier? Yes. Uh, me personally, I need an analyzer. I, I make so many antennas. I'm always fussing with them. I want to know what's going on with them. So I, like I would feel lost personally without an analyzer. Um, the, the Stick Pro is a favorite, but this this MFJ one I've had for years. This is a really good analyzer as well. This is the uh, the, the MFJ 269. I like that analyzer a lot, but I mean, the, the Rig Expert Stick Pro is just so portable. So for me, that's absolutely perfect. And it's it's got a rechargeable battery and everything like that in it. So uh, <laughs> I could go on and on, but uh, it's up to you. Do you need an analyzer? Well, what do you think? So... But great question. Thanks for writing in. We get to talk about antennas. We got to talk about analyzers. And if you have an amateur radio related question for me, shoot me an email, k8mrd at icloud.com, and you just may have your question featured on another episode of Mailbag Monday. In the meantime, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at k8mrd, and we will see you again on another episode of k8mrd Radio Stuff. 73, guys.